today I'm going to share one of my favorite recipes for pinwheels to anyone that needs a quick little appetizer or finger food, whether it be to watch your favorite episode of Housewives or just having friends over real quick, or if you need to whip something up for the kids lunch tomorrow that's not just a regular sandwich, try this recipe. It's a quick, simple, easy recipe for pinwheels that you can change up and make it different, but they're really good. And like an old saying of, you can't have just one, it's one of those things, you know, you can't just have one pinwheel. So try this and I hope you like it. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a block or eight ounce of cream cheese softened. Now you can, I've also used the Greek yogurt, like I said, if you want to help uh, make it a little healthier, use that type. You'll need a packet of ranch dip seasoning, just a pound of, you know, deli meat of whichever you prefer, and then sliced cheese and tortillas. Now, um, I use the largest ones because, remember, bigger is always better. But I use the burrito size. If you get bigger ones, those will work as well. They'll make bigger pinwheels. First, what you'll want to do is just take the cream cheese, open the dip mix, mix it in with the cream cheese like that. And then stir until it's completely combined. Now, once you have it completely mixed and combined like this, it's ready to make the pinwheels. Once you have your cream cheese mixture ready, then the next step is the easy part. It's the actual mixture. So what you want to do is just take a scoopful kind of spatula and spread it on. You want to go all the way edge except one end you don't want to do you know all the way to the edge spread it on evenly all the way through and you can use any type of deli meat you can use any type of cheese um, in this case i'm actually using deli chicken uh, cajun chicken and because it does have a little bit of a spice i'm using uh, kobe jack cheese and then you can just kind of do it like this. Kind of like a puzzle. You don't want to go all the way to the edge because as you roll, you'll see that it does kind of shift. Now add your deli meat. I tend to overlap mine like so. You don't want to do too, too much though like that and then leaving that part blank. Now just kind of pinch, you want to kind of press down, see how it rolls. Um, so press down a little bit while you roll it. See how it goes all the way to the edge. And then that's it. Make sure that it's kind of tight. Stick it on a plate, refrigerate it, you know, overnight or at least three to four hours until the uh, cream cheese mixture is firm. So now the only thing left to do since they've chilled is to cut them. And to be honest, I do a little trick. I always start in the middle. So what I do is I just cut in the middle and then do like this. There's no perfect way or wrong way to cut them. But once you do, then plate and serve. Just like that. And there's your pinwheels. They're so good.